Hey y'all, welcome back to Hanzi's Texas. Now when I say the Pulsar LRF is brand new, I mean it is not even out on the market yet. This is just a prototype. This is not a production unit. And I want to thank the people over at Pulsar and Outdoor Legacy Gear uh, for sending this over to me to test out in the field. So um, before we get to some of the, the video footage of some of the hunts, I, I've got some video of some deer and showing the uh, the ranging of deer. I've got a uh, hog hunt, got a, a, a raccoon kill. Um, I, I want to clear up some things, some questions about this. Now, uh, this is the Pulsar LRF. Uh, the LRF stands for Laser Range Finder. So uh, just so you know when you're when you're looking for this. But um, right now, as of June 18, uh, 2018, this optic has not been released out to the public. Hopefully, they're thinking that um, maybe later in the summer, early fall, that this uh, this the, the units will be available for the public but right now it is not so uh, if you're seeing this right now just keep that in mind but these are coming out and they're trying to get uh, these tested out and on the market and, and make sure everything is is good before they start releasing it to everybody um, but really the the main question is can you take the the laser range finder itself can you take it off the unit and change it into or or add it to another unit uh, the the laser rangefinder part of the scope is permanently attached to the scope. Uh, you cannot remove it. It's it's uh, built into the system. So whenever you you know you hit your buttons on here, it activates the laser rangefinder. So uh, to answer the questions, can it be uh, interchangeable on other units? No. Uh, when you buy the the trail model, that, um, if you have any questions, like I said, let me know. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, this is a great scope. I hope you enjoyed the videos, the, the hunts with it. Hi guys. I uh, just wanted to do a real quick little review on the ATN Thor HD thermal rifle scope. We spent a little time with it this weekend. I uh, did a little pig hunt. Killed several pigs Saturday night. Had a pretty good time. Got to get pretty familiar with the scope. I'm just gonna do a real quick basic review. There's plenty of them on the internet and such. This is the 50 millimeter version, 384 core, 384 by 288. That's the sensor. That's a 4.5 native magnification. Pretty nice size little scope, about nine and a half by about three and a half tall. Fairly decent little mount system here, little QD single so in conclusion guys we appreciate uh atn sending the scope out to us to use i uh, would like several things about it you know the menus were easy to use the buttons were pretty easy uh battery compartment pretty simple mount decent it's pretty pretty good all around little thermal a uh, few little areas for improvement but guys that like atn products will will like the scope guys that have used the x site will have good luck with it menus are all pretty much the same uh, main areas of improvement could tighten up the diopter ring could also work on the display it would, a new display or different display type would greatly help it um, be able to have a little bit better contrast a little less washout but totally usable and we took a few pictures through the scope so we can you can kind of see get the idea on the display but we appreciate you guys watching any feedback or tips this is our first uh, real review video on anything so any tips or anything like that are certainly appreciated thank y'all hey y'all it's hans east texas well i done done it after seeing all the advancements in thermal scopes and picture quality and technology i knew it was finally time to break open that piggy bank and upgrade my scope to keep up with the joneses and y'all i'm gonna tell you these hogs don't stand a chance now I feel like I was hunting in the blind before and now my eyes have been opened to the latest in thermal hunting technology. Now, and I know I'm being a little dramatic, uh, but this new scope has changed my hunting game completely. So when I finally decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy a new scope, my first call was over to my good friends at Outdoor Legacy Gear. They were able to recommend the perfect scope for me that had all of my must-have features and did it within the price range that I needed it to be at. The scope that I finally settled on was the Pulsar Trail XQ38, and really it had everything that I had to have, uh, and really a lot more. But I'm going to let you see the footage of this at night, but check it out during the day. Really there were three things that I needed more than anything, and I knew if I was going to spend the money I was going to get exactly what I wanted. The first thing was the internal video recorder, and I was just tired of messing with wires and, and messing with a, a mini DVR strapped to the, the stock of the gun. I wanted something more convenient. The second was the rechargeable batteries, just because I was tired of buying batteries all the time uh, for my old scope. And the third was the picture-in-picture -picture display. 
uh, of being able, and I'm going to demonstrate that soon, but being able to, to take a close uh, head shot, but also have the wide angle to, to take follow-up shots on a running sounder. Here's the Pulsar Trail XQ38 features. Let me tell you, it's got a bunch of them. 384 by 288 thermal core resolution, 17 microns, 50 hertz refresh rate, AMO LED display, 2.1 to 8.4 magnification, internal video recorder, rechargeable, removable, long life battery, and the uh, access to the Stream Vision app. Taking a look at the outside functionality of the scope, and I know this seems like a small thing, but I love the flip open lens cover. Short press of the record button, the internal video recorder starts recording right away. No more worrying about the lapse time or waiting for that little blinking red light to start up, which is great when needing to capture video right away like this sounder on the run. Port where you can either charge your unit or transfer video directly to your computer. You can also connect to the Stream Vision app wirelessly where you can transfer video, update firmware, and stream real-time video from your viewfinder all on your cell phone. The last feature on my must-haves list is a rechargeable battery, and the Pulsar Trail XQ38 actually has a removable battery that can be charged on a base or actually plugged up and charged through the USB port. The Pulsar Trail XQ38 is a great value at a little over $3,000, and it came with some of the same features that I would have found on a much more expensive thermal scope. Now, I've always been impressed by the picture quality and dependability of the Pulsar name, but really, for me, it came down to talking with the experts that helped match me with the style of scope that would serve me best. And I'm telling you now, the Hawks might have been nervous before, but they don't stand a chance. Welcome to Alpha Shooters. We've received from Pulsar the exciting new Thermion XM50 Thermal Imaging Hunting Rifle Scope. This is the top of the line model from the XM series that uses a fast 1.2 50mm germanium front lens and a 320 by 240 microbolometer sensor running at full 50Hz. As you can see, the main feature of this scope is that it looks like a traditional daytime rifle scope with a standard 30mm tube in mounting interface, which makes it very easy to mount it on any gun. The XM50 has the highest native magnification of all Thermion scopes. 5.5 per that tops out at 22 per using digital zoom. The IPX7 metal housing features a standard 30mm tube. An eyepiece with AMOLED HD micro display, integrated video recorder, and a Wi Fi with Stream Vision app support. Controls are simple and intuitive. There is an encoding knob on the left turret with configuration button and a small panel with three buttons just above the eyepiece. The USB port is hidden in the right turret. The elevation turret houses the replaceable battery. Both batteries in the device offer up to 5 hours of continuous operation. Focus is controlled with a large ring on the objective bell. It's using the Pulsar Thermion XM50 Thermal Imaging Hunting Rifle Scope. How's it going and welcome to Formar Ranch. So I wanted to put a very quick video together for you today, just giving you an update now that I've hit six months of use on the ATN Thor 4. Bottom line up front, is this optic worth your invested money? I'm gonna have to say yes to that, a definite yes. This has been phenomenal for me. I'm gonna go over what I've personally experienced with this as quick as I can, just to keep it brief for you. Keep in mind, I have a detailed review. I have a night vision and thermal comparison of this optic. I've even compared this to Pulsar's latest and greatest thermal as well. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you're looking for more of those details, that's where you're gonna find them. This is gonna be just a brief update, like I said. So when I initially started using this optic, I was using the manual nuke function, which means you just press the power button and it essentially calibrates the image to your ambient environment. That is some of the guidance I actually put in my initial review of this optic because I personally didn't want it to be on auto nuke where it'll automatically do that for you because I thought, hey, it's gonna be kind of a deal breaker if it flashes when I don't want it to flash and recalibrates the image. I want to kind of update my thoughts on that again after six months of use. And now I've switched over to auto nuke. It's been great. It keeps things calibrated for you to where your image as looks as best as it possibly can. It's cold, so don't make fun of me, but leaving the heated environment of my truck and then hanging the optic outside into the cold window. Again, the cold hitting the lens and the sensor. 
it did the same thing where it almost looked like it was performing a pixel correction, not necessarily a nuke, but a pixel correction where all the pixels kind of fade in and out and do some interesting artifacts. And again, it lasted for about two seconds and then the image was good. So other than that, that's really the only thing I have to report at six months. This optic is still going strong. It has been a huge game changer. It is absolutely phenomenal that I can drive around on the ranch at night and I can scan the property and 2,000 yards away, I'll see if there's a heat source, this scope is picking up on it. If it's an animal, if it's something that's still an elevated temperature from where the sun was hitting it during the day, the scope will see it, it'll let you know. Of course, you can't identify things at 2,000 yards with this, but it'll definitely tell you which direction you need to be heading to then take a closer look at things.